What's up y'all, your girl Steph G and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to share with you guys how to get rid of the corn chip, hot Cheetos, feet, wet dog, whatever you guys call the smell that you get in your virgin hair bundles. I'm going to show you exactly what I do, the products I use, as well as the process. I know you guys want to know so I'm going to share the tea so definitely go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do videos on entrepreneurship, business, and lifestyle vlogs. So if that's something that you're interested in, then you definitely want to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and join the crew. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the smell. I know a lot of you have mentioned that you've either bought bundles that had that acquiring smell or just maybe heard reviews about some vendors and might have turned you away. Honestly, guys, for the past year that I've been testing out hair, most of these virgin hair companies do have some type of smell to their hair. I mean, if you really think about it, a lot of these companies use a lot of chemicals like silicone and things like that to be able to manipulate their hair to get it to some type of curl pattern, a wave pattern. Um, and then they're probably sitting it somewhere like in the warehouse or outside in the sun, then packaging it and storing it away until the bundles are sold. So it's probably the chemicals just in the bundles that may be causing the smell. But I got gotcha. y'all. I'm about to show you exactly what you need to go get and what to do to be able to get those bad odors. I know a lot of you guys call it corn chips, feet, hot Cheetos. I didn't hurt it all. Get it out of your bundles for good so you can go ahead and enjoy your bundles because I know a lot of you guys probably hate that smell. And who wants to be walking around smelling that all day on their head? So yeah, I got gotcha. y'all. But I'm also going to show you guys how I do the process at the very end and then how it comes out so that you guys can see how bomb this hair is, okay? All right, so I know there has been a lot of different methods that people have used like Listerine, fabric softener. Now, I have not tried those and I don't plan to, uh, but I did try apple cider vinegar and it worked. I did soak the hair like overnight. The apple cider vinegar does have a strong smell, so that's probably why I didn't want to keep using it because who wants to be out here smelling like apple cider vinegar? And I tried masking that apple cider vinegar with a deep conditioner, and it still was like, you know, it was real abrasive, so it was still coming through, and it still was smelling like real strong. So I was like, nah, I got to find something else to be able to get the smell out, and I'm not out here smelling like apple cider vinegar, okay? And that is the Dr. Bronner's. Pure Castile Soap, this stuff, y'all, is freaking amazing, okay? This has been around for so many years. I've been using this before I even started getting into the hair business because I use this, like, on my makeup brushes, on my face, rinsing my own hair out, and it does wonders, okay? This is family-owned, and it's been around for so many years, since 1858. It has organic oils in it very inexpensive it's about like nine dollars ten dollars and you can get it anywhere like amazon target walmart beauty supply store whole foods health stores wherever i'll see if i can find a link for amazon and put it down below in the description box if you guys are interested i'm pretty sure you guys will be um i suggest getting the peppermint no actually get the peppermint because i haven't tried any other ones and i feel like the peppermint did what it needed to do the first time so that's why i didn't try the other ones but yeah this stuff right here it's going to save y'all, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all going to thank me later, okay? I promise y'all. Um, you can pretty much use this for anything. It's literally an all-purpose cleanser. Um, it has like a little area. I'll put a picture somewhere on here so you guys can see what I'm reading. You can wash your hands with it, face, body, hair rinse, laundry, mop the floor, wash the dog, fruits and vegetables, all-purpose cleaner, face, underarms, legs, everything. This stuff right here will do the job okay so yeah definitely get this and this is what's gonna help you get that bad odor out of your bundles all right so the next thing you want to get is a good deep conditioner preferably one that repairs and restores moisture back into the hair just because the dr bronner's is going to just make your hair a little rough just because it's stripping you know the odor and all that stuff um so you want to be able to get you a good deep conditioner that's going to bring back that shine and that softness and all that good stuff into your bundles and the one that i use is the silicone mix and you can get this at like a beauty supply store or amazon very inexpensive i think this is like eight or nine dollars now you do not have to use this exact one you can use whatever deep conditioner you want to use i do suggest maybe getting something that you like the smell to 
I'm not saying that it's going to mask anything because the Dr. Bronner's already removes the odor from your hair, but it does have that strong peppermint smell. But to be honest, it is way better than the other smell. Um, but if you want to kind of tone down that peppermint, then, um, you know, get you a good deep conditioner that has a smell that you like and it'll help tone that down. Um, but yeah, guys, once you do that, your bundles is going to be smelling amazing okay you can add some leave-in conditioner if you like um or style it if you want to i do suggest hanging up your hair so you can air dry it so you can get those better results so yeah guys that's pretty much it to really get rid of the bad smell that's all you have to use and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i do my process i'm going to use my peruvian deep wave bundles these are the bundles that i got from ideal hair arts company the vendor that I mentioned in my exposed vendor video, if you guys have not seen that video, definitely go check it out because I give you guys all the details, vendor information, and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how I wash it with the Dr. Bronner's, moisturize it, and I'll put some leave-in conditioner as well so you guys can see how beautiful these curls pop. And best part about it, it doesn't smell. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so what you're going to need is a container or a Ziploc bag. Either or is fine. I'm going to use the container, and I filled it up halfway with water. Then you're going to go ahead and stick your bundle in there. Let it soak. Get it nice and wet. Move it around a little bit. Make sure that the entire bundle is soaked. Then you want to go ahead and get your Dr. Bronner's. And it does say a tablespoon, but I just kind of eyeball it and put it on the bundle. And you can put it on your hand, either or. Then go ahead and start washing the bundle. Get really in there. You also want to make sure that you're washing um, the weft as well. And yeah, so I'm just going to wash it. Now you, um, I suggest that you wash it at least twice. For the purpose of this video, I'm only going to do it once. But make sure that you wash your bundle twice just to make sure. As you guys see, I'm getting really good into the weft. So that I can go ahead and remove the odor from the hair. And you guys will start noticing that it's going to smell really good as you're washing it. And yeah. I use the container just to kind of keep it inside. In, inside the container for the most part. Because I don't like getting my hair in the sink. So yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. And then we'll move on to the next step.
I'm gonna go ahead and get my leave-in conditioner, put a small amount in my hand. Like I said, this is optional. And I'm just gonna rub that all over the bundle. I probably could have put a little bit more. The most important thing is that you wanna go ahead and scrunch up your hair. Remember, this is curly hair. So you want to form those curls by scrunching them. If you're gonna style your hair, then go ahead and style your hair, but make sure that you're scrunching the curls so that when it air dries, you get those nice, tight, beautiful curls. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how the hair looks after it's been washed, conditioned, and I put a little bit of leave-in conditioner, but that's optional. That's totally up to you. If you wanna do it, you don't have to, but this is how the hair came out. Y'all, look at these curls. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. Y'all not gonna tell me these curls ain't popping, okay? Look at this. Beautiful, and the best part about it is that this hair smells so good, okay? You no longer smell the bad odor that the hair has from you know all the chemicals and things like that so yeah look at that now this hair is from the company called ideal hair arts you guys know i did a exposing my vendor video if you haven't watched it then definitely go ahead and check it out i give you guys all the details contact information and all that good stuff so if you're interested in doing wholesale then you can contact mandy she will definitely help you guys out she's absolutely amazing okay Look at that. Looks so good. Yeah. Now, I do still have some Peruvian deep wave bundles left. If you guys are interested, um, you go ahead and check out my website. I will put all the information down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out. I have a few left if you guys may want some, you know, to just wear or whatever the case may be. But yeah. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you found this information helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description box. And if you guys have any questions, y'all already know what to do. Hit me up in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer those. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.